opportunity to, to discuss with one uh, this piece that is so close to my heart. Um, uh, well, uh, thank you all for coming and welcome here. I'm very pleased that I have this opportunity to talk uh, to about my work. One of the reasons why I feel so grateful to be able to be talking to Juan about flickering darkness is that it was just after Juan came back from Colombia that we met and we started to talk about art and culture and politics and love and love affairs with the country and with many things. And since then, Juan and I have been building up um, a work relationship and a personal relationship that I value very much. Why flicker in darkness now? Why, why, why revisit it and why is different with this piece to the original piece? Um. Well, freaking darkness uh, is, uh, is uh, freaking darkness revisited, and basically, as I was saying earlier, it's, it's, it's a project that I I produced as a visual of residence in Colombia in 2009. Um, I think uh, somehow it's it's bring a reality that perhaps you know many people are not aware of, um, and I thought it would be brilliant just to bring this. Um, uh, to 2014, it's the Corabastos. This is uh, uh, the largest food market supply in the whole of the Latin American continent. This Corabastos is located in the south of Bogota, which is the capital of Colombia. And this place uh, actually gathers thousands of tons of food produced that come from every corner from this country. Um, and so that was uh, the place that, you know, where I, I produced. Yeah. When, when you open yourself to explore that sense of home somewhere else, and you arrive to Bogota and you discover that, that actually there is, there, is, there is security there. You feel safe, you feel okay, as opposed to what everyone was telling you you were going to find in that country. There was something very internal for you in that, in that experience arriving to, to a place that you didn't know. Well, I arrived in Colombia uh, with uh, a lavish people have been already telling me, you're going to a very dangerous place, you know. So I already was arriving in Bogota with this uh, background of uh, how many people probably that never been in the country have this kind of stereotype idea of what Colombia is about. Uh, and it's quite funny because the project is also about fear. Um, I, again, I'm going to make a confession. This is not the project I'm supposed to be doing that. You know, I have my own project that I was selected for. Um, when I arrived in Bogotá, uh, the first person I met was an artist, you know, a local artist. And Lorena was talking to me about the project she'd been involved uh, right, for three years. I didn't know anybody. In three months, I had to build up a team of people who will be helping me to create something out of that, in that place. In a place that, for me, looked very chaotic. As you said, it's a kind of colossal place where thousands of people are moving, uh, carrying things, pushing cars, you know, uh, lorries coming by and, and fraud, you know. Um, again, being open and free and just being there. And I remember John driving me all over the place, introducing me to everybody. This is the Spanish coming from London. eating <laughs> <laughs> and the in a restaurant and somebody said, what are you doing here? I'm doing a project about food. I know somebody who might help you with something. This is Colombia. You had a plan and suddenly by accident you meet somebody who will change completely your plan. So I, I had a meeting that evening at the Ministry of Culture, but I will end up talking to somebody about a food program called Bogota Without Hunger. You know, uh, represent the place and bring that feeling, that physical sensation to, to now to, to the Royal Festival Hall, the South Central, you know. So for that, 
is require me not to manipulate anything. And that was really a very risky decision for me because, I mean, the light, they're not light like this, you know, the light that are flickering. Um, you know, the camera was going mad trying to make up, you know, the white balance. So, you know, all my footage would come out very green. And I said, well, how am I going to colorize this? This is just crazy. Uh, so at one point I made the decision that rather fighting against it, I'm going to embrace it. And I'm going to show exactly, you know, what it's like. So that's why eventually the title of the work became Flickering, because Flickering is actually the actual effect of the light. That there's a sound also that is flickering. Uh, so that was a decision that all the things were really shocked. Because you said, well, we're not going to use any light here. No, we no. I was making the decision along the way. Um, um, you know, feeling really very satisfied that uh, at one point I had to, to make sure that all the decisions were something that I be comfortable with. You know, are done by human labor, you know, the normal machine there. There are people who are, you know, uh, carrying, you know, uh, really heavy, you know, sack of car or potato, any kind of imaginable produce you can think of. Uh, I don't know if I could use the word condemn to a, a condition that is perpetuate this kind of uh, situation. For example, in Colombia, uh, or in many other countries, you know, uh, agriculture, you know, people who work in the field, they, they have the, the seed, you know, that they can use for the following year. And now, you know, that seed has been uh, owned by a big corporation that is actually putting them in a kind of honest less <coughs> of, you know, their own heritage, which is the land that they, they work. I, I think it's you know, in that sense, I find that cooking darkness is, is an art world, uh, but somehow this question and idea can go beyond mm -hmm. the art. How, how, do you, how do you feel you contributed with your um, documentary to that program, Bogotá.com? I mean, uh, Bogotá Without Hunger, which is a program that's no longer there, I think it's a chain now. Uh, you know, um, I, I don't, uh, yeah, I mean, I went to uh, this person who talked to me about the program, which was a program that still hasn't been evaluated. I mean, this person was actually making a PowerPoint for the final presentation he had to do to the, uh, the Alcaldia in Bogota. Um, and he said, you are the first person to see my evaluation, still haven't been complete even. Uh, and I was really like a very interested to, to see the reality of that uh, evaluation. Uh, the work somehow have made many questions to people who don't value uh, markets anymore, and there is a, because in Bogota, what happened in Asia, uh, Carrefour and all these test courses are taking over. Yeah. Not, I'm, I'm glad that you're doing this conversation because I, I saw your work yesterday, and um, I, I didn't I didn't get that part at all on the Bogota for hunger. So maybe some of the scenes at the end where the people are eating. Uh, is first of all, that's the question. Is is are those scenes from this place, this little canteen that you're talking about? Is is that? Did you film that of the people eating? Uh, you know, there's many many ideas in place in the work that yeah. I have to tell you that I myself is finding them, even since I am the one who made it. You know. Uh, but when people talk about the work, it made me look at my own work. I think, uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't say you can. I said that, for example, in my experience of living in a metropolis like London, how we 
we don't actually pay much attention to food. I think if we just, when we're hungry, when we just feel like we need a bath, you know, you, you just go anywhere and grab something. Uh, and, and that's it. You feed yourself, you satisfy, and you don't even actually think about the whole need you have that has encouraged you to find something to eat. Uh, I mean, that's something that uh, in, in Bogota, people told me, don't eat anything in the street, because otherwise you'll get ill. Yeah, but I saw a lot of people eating in the street, so eventually, if they're not dying, probably I won't. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I think it is it's a different, obviously, it's a very different relationship. Uh, or I could see that when I was in Colombia, that the relationship people have with food is, is extremely different the way we have here.